go on, one, keep moving at the sides, two, three, and a four, and a five, six, seven, that's great, and a one. Turn, two, three, keep following your arm, even though it's going behind you, four, five, you come in, shoot up, drop, recover, and fall away. Yes, again. I know enough about the mental illness to think that this could be absolutely anybody that this has happened to. And I know enough about them to know that there's plenty uh, in their personality and, and character that isn't to do with the mental illness. And, and they are so bright and, and lovely to be around. If you've got words, you know what's gonna, what the audience are going to say or know about it. With dance, you can't know while you're in it, so we've got to watch it from the outside. So, yeah, I don't know if what I say helps them or not, really. Because I do, in some ways, I dismiss the mental illness, which isn't a good thing to do. Me trying to put across that I think that everything that they do is quite natural and nothing to be worried about, even if it's been diagnosed as a mental illness. I am always amazed with the quality of the movement. That was quite a, a difficult um, set of steps. When I first started facilitating with this group, we wouldn't ever have done anything as complex as that. I, I'm just overjoyed that they've picked up this complex and, and direction and, and uh, body twisting and arms working with legs. Curling up. That's interesting yeah. that, that you say that's something to do with your personality. Do you think there's certain aptitudes that people have that mean they can do this sort of work? I, I imagine so, yeah. There are personalities that are good at teaching. And I think my personality is more suited to this sort of facilitating than perhaps classroom teaching sometimes. We had an incident with somebody leaving in the middle of it right. and there were lots of things happening, lots yeah. of in innings and outings with yeah. this particular participant. Yeah. She was going out a lot mm. and I hadn't really made any decisions as to what to do about this. I was kind of just leaving it and th thinking, well, we, well, this is part of what we do, so we have to deal with this and there's no point bringing it up with her support workers and things, this is who she is. But when I realised the tension from my point of view, plus what was going on with the other participants, how aware of and disruptive it was, then I took action and did get in touch with a support worker. Mm. And she, we decided that at the moment it's not a good idea for her to, to come. Peace and time is ticking by. We've only got about three weeks now to rehearse it. There is this time pressure and they're aware of that as well. So really the work would have a much longer process and we'd be drawing out um, and doing writing and other tasks. But now we're only doing movement tasks that will be used, whereas other times we would do lots of tasks and throw material away. There isn't that luxury at the moment and it's partly because it's a once a week group. I think it's a good thing that you have to make a performance. I do really. Well, the, the whole performing thing and showing a piece of performance with non-dancers, let's call them, is always uh, aesthetically questionable. Um, what people expect and who is the audience and everything. So it will be a converge audience and family and friends, which is also tricky because they're a sort of benevolent audience and they always say, wow, how far you've come and 
rather than looking at it as a, a piece of dance that they would expect to see from any group of people, which is what I want it to be. It will be good, but it's partly my responsibility to get a really good piece of choreography together as well that mm. uses that natural movement and those qualities, mm. which I'm still learning to do. Every week we're pra they're, they're practising new skills. If, if we didn't make a, a final piece of choreography, I don't think they would learn the skills that they do. So working, uh, working with each other, working under pressure, communicating, uh, and if they, if they do that performance then that, that's massive and I'm sure that they move on from the performance. So what's your normal process of reflection after a session? Um, we, we immediately do a feedback session over coffee out of the studio. Mm -hmm. um, Who's we? All the part participants and the dance students and support workers. Their usual strategies of you, the best moment, the most difficult moment. Sometimes they peer assess and they try and say one thing that they've noticed about somebody else in the session. And that it's not in the studio, it's over coffee. I think that's important as well. Changes the dynamic. Mm. Okay, thank you so much. Thank you. Brilliant. Thank you. <laughs>